Hi and welcome. In this video, I will discuss first testing or fuzzing, which is actually a mechanism or methodology to test the security of software. Uh, now basically there are two types of uh, software testing. Uh, one is the static testing that is without running uh, the software application and just uh, reviewing the code of or the source code of the application. And uh, second method is the dynamic testing that is the running the application and its code in dynamic uh, environment. Uh, now first uh, testing or fuzzing relates to the dynamic testing and basically we use uh, tools or special tools uh, to dynamically test uh, the security of the software and uh, we do it by providing different inputs to the software but these inputs are not valid one so these are actually invalid inputs uh, to stress the limits of the software and to detect any flaw which was previously undetected so basically we give different uh, random inputs or we may give special uh, inputs in case uh, to trigger uh, the known vulnerabilities and after giving uh, the random inputs or special inputs to uh, the software uh, then we monitor uh, the software performance or the application performance to see if uh, there is any issue with the software or the outcome of the input we uh, gave to the software. Um, for example, uh, software may crash or there may be a buffer overflow or any other undesirable or unpredictable output. So basically there are two types of uh, fuzzing. Uh, first one is the mutation or dumb fuzzing. Uh, now in this test uh, actually we get the operational data or uh, operational input from uh, the old data and we then manipulate uh, this operational input or operational data and we mutate uh, to get or to generate a first input which uh, subsequently we give it to the software uh, to check its uh, performance. So basically uh, we generate uh, the this first input or uh, mutation first input uh, from the operational data by altering uh, some characters in the operational data or by appending certain strings at the end of this data. Uh, so uh, this first input is almost identical uh, to the operational input Therefore, it confuses the application which is expecting uh, the original input and application may get crash. So actually this uh, mutation fuzzing or dumb fuzzing, uh, we slightly manipulate uh, the operational data and it is also known as a bit flipping uh, that we uh, uh, actually flip certain bits of the operational data to get uh, or to mutate uh, this first input. Uh, then after uh, generating this first input, we input uh, this uh, to the software uh, to see if any outcome of this input uh, is generating any error in the software or software is behaving in an unpredictable manner. So now we use this uh, tool to automate uh, this entire process of mutation or dumb fuzzing. And uh, this actually manipulates uh, the input as per the tester specification. Uh, for example, if a file is containing series of ones, then we may alter certain characters or certain bits in the file or to flip these bits to generate uh, the a mutated file or a mutated first file uh, and then we input this file to the software to check its performance. So second form of uh, fuzzing is generalization or uh, intelligent fuzzing and in this fuzzing uh, this requires extensive effort to develop data models and these data models are 
developed on the understanding of the data or the type of data used by the application so actually it uh, gives us uh, a new first input and uh, this input is not generated from the operational data but it is actually entire new uh, first input based upon the understanding of the application now there are certain uh, limits uh, uh, with this uh, first input or the first testing and these uh, limitation are that uh, actually this first testing does not give full coverage uh, of the software testing uh, and it can trigger simple uh, vulnerabilities or it can identify simple vulnerabilities but uh, there is uh, no identification of advanced vulnerabilities which may require complex manipulation of business logic or operational logic so we can consider this first uh, testing as only one tool in entire suites of tests so we have to perform other tests as well uh, besides this first testing or we may use uh, this first testing to test the coverage or the scope of the entire testing effort now i will show you uh, this uh, uh, the operation of this uh, tool which is used for mutation or dump fuzzing uh, this tool uh, which is zzuf now uh, you can see this file or the original operational data before it is mutated now this data contains all ones or series of ones now once we will apply this tool then this tool will change certain bits or it will flip certain bits in this data and now after applying uh, this first uh, input or after generating the first input or mutating the original operational data you can see that certain bits are changed or uh, these bits are now this is now a mutated file which is created from uh, the previous file so this was all from my side uh, please stay connected to my channel and subscribe to my channel for encouragement thank you